When assembling the anti-rotation bracket on page 38 of the manual, I recommend uh, dremeling the uh, bottom aspect of the uh, bracket with a, I guess this would be a, a grinding stone. Uh, this is just a regular Dremel, um, well, the Milwaukee brand, uh, which I prefer. Uh, let me do a little close up and this is what it looks like. Um, now, uh, what this does is, is that, um, uh, especially for uh, you guys are uh, using extremes of uh, collective uh, travel or cyclic travel, it uh, uh, gives you a little more room to prevent the uh, elevator uh, servo uh, uh, link from uh, touching the um, uh, servo bracket, all right? Um, and, and this, uh, you would think, oh, okay, well, uh, now I'm uh, removing uh, material uh, here, so it'll uh, weaken uh, this part. <laughs> I can tell you that this part uh, has been through uh, several crashes. Now I'm actually uh, uh, dealing with a, a complete uh, uh, rekit. And, uh, and this part survived, uh, 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 has survived intact uh, multiple crashes, including the rekit. Uh, as an aside, um, I am using this, um, I don't know if you can tell, but the clear uh, tape on both uh, edges uh, here. Um, and the reason I, I uh, and the, oh, here we go. Uh, and this is basically to um, try to minimize uh, uh, wires from uh, uh, chafing if I route them uh, next to this uh, carb uh, otherwise um, sharp carbon fiber edge. And this tape that I am using is the uh, uh, regular uh, car door edge uh, protection tape. Uh, it just sticks really well. Um, you can barely uh, uh, see it. Uh, and uh, it, it just uh, is thick enough to, to protect the wires. You can use that, uh, of course, along the edges of a, other parts of the, the frame to prevent the shaving of the wires.